right. Gotta head to the command deck. We're getting reports that the trail went cold. Okay, Tony. We need to show the world what AIM's been up to. And I've got the perfect opportunity. The AIM experience in Manhattan. The media launch for Tarleton's new adaptoids. Every network will be there. I think it would be a perfect place for a few dozen missing inhumans to suddenly reappear. We have to be careful, though. AIM will bury the truth and kill any remaining prisoners rather than risk exposure. We'll need the location of their lab so we can lock it down. Good thing you captured Tarleton's second in command. If someone can get her to slip, it'll be Bruce. He's already volunteered. Not bad, Tony. Head on down to the interrogation room. I'll let Bruce know he's on deck. Miss Romanoff, Dr. Pin would like a word with you at the war table at your earliest convenience. Greetings from the anthill. Natasha? Thanks for helping save the day back at Ames Prison, and for everything you did as Tiny Dancer. I wonder who our mysterious guardian angel was. Anytime, Hank. Sometimes dirty hands do the best work. True. And how the hell did you folks get the Chimera online, let alone airborne without Terrigen? The Chimera has the same standard engines as older helicarriers. She's kind of like a hybrid car, but you know, cool. Something tells me this isn't just a thank you call, Doctor. Guilty as charged. We did a little digging in the data you sent me from the prison. AIM was able to successfully transport most of the Inhumans. I've tracked the ship, but we'll need someone to go in after it. We'll do whatever we can. Thanks. I've already uploaded some mission details to your war table. Pam out. Miss Romanov, welcome back to the Chimera. I have intel on the potential AIM defectors that you transmitted to me during your time as Tiny Dancer. I've marked a location on the war table that should be of interest to you. Thanks, Jarvis. It's good to have you handling mission details for me again. Just like old times, as they say. Enjoying the view? Not enough to distract me from what's waiting downstairs. But I think I'm ready. I guess I have to be. Okay, I'm gonna go prep the interrogation room for you. If you want to chat, I'm just a radio call away. Thanks, Nat. I just need to, you know, ponder some things for a bit. Yeah, well, don't ponder too much. Oh, hey, Nat. Since Roy brought up all the power cores needed for the Chimera, I figured he could stay up there and help outfit you all as needed. We can repurpose another aimbot to take his place here at the anthill. Nat, um, I'm about to talk to Monica. She's gonna try to manipulate you. You know that, right? I think I know Monica well. No, you don't. There are a thousand Monicas. She switches them like masks when she needs to. Yeah. Look, all I'm saying is if you go in there with expectations, she's gonna blindside you. Good day, adventurer. Come peruse my wares. You look like you're getting stronger. That prison took a lot out of me, but I'll be ready to join the fight soon. Are all exits secure? Yes, Agent Romanoff. Good. Open the airlock for me, and don't open it for anyone else but Dr. Banner. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Initiating airlock override protocol. You've worked with Monica for a long time. She's changed, hasn't she? Now, you see, I don't honestly believe she ever had any true feelings for you. But if I'm wrong, if she betrays any real emotions, exploit them. That's your leverage. <laughs> Always appreciated your brutal honesty, Nat. You can do this, Bruce. More importantly, you have to. 
We need to find the rest of those inhuman prisoners before we crash the party at the AIM experience. Okay, we ready to do this? You think Bruce can get information out of Monica? Yeah, I do. We really need to find Tarleton's lab, and I, uh, I think he's ready. Well, I hope you're right. This little interview could be disastrous. Well, that's why we're doing it in the big guy's playpen. Oh, this should be interesting. These two haven't spoken since the hearings. Think Bruce is up to it? He better be. Once we break up Tarleton's little party, he'll clean house. The AIM experience. So many better names. Look, we need the location of that lab. Hundreds of inhumans depend on it. So tiny dancer, huh? Let me guess, you would have gone with Rocket Man. Please, not even close. You're my candle. Show's about to start. Let me guess. You're planning a big reveal at the Adaptoid launch. The triumphant return of the Avengers. Imprisonment and torture. That's how AIM's gonna make the world a better place. Please. Ebola, smallpox, polio, all fatal, if not for lab rats. And humans aren't sick, Monica. You're just harvesting their powers to make your little robots. <laughs> robots that possess complex AI. Capable of assessing the most effective application of their powers, all with minimal human casualty. Where's the lab, Monica? You can reverse engineer Terrigen, sure, but it'll be catastrophic and you know it. You were there on A Day, and you know if we do it again, it's not gonna just endanger in humans, it's gonna endanger all of us. Last I checked, A Day was your mess. <laughs> Gonna need a stronger table. I see some things haven't changed. Everything's just an experiment with you, isn't it? Tarleton and humans. Me. <gasps> Scour the earth. You will not find our lab. The Adaptoids will launch, Bruce. Saving the world requires sacrifice! I'm going in. We need to find that lab. Jarvis, sensors detect AIM forces incoming. Tarleton's come for his sidekick. Nat, Quinjet. You read my mind. Stay with me. All right. Hey, uh, just... Watch yourself up there. I will if you will. Kamala, let's go. We can't let AIM stop us from getting these Inhumans in front of the press. My guess? Georgie boy's on to us. I think you're right, Tony. There's a battalion of gunships on their way. Bruce, code green? Uh, just 
Hold on. Give me a sec, okay? 